Hello everybody, Crit Crab here with another story. This one is quite unique actually, as it has very little to do with the DM and almost everything to do with party and fighting. Roll post. For context about what is about to be described, in this D&D campaign, the party consisted of a fighter, myself, a barbarian druid, a rogue, and a monk. The fighter was a standoffish warrior from a large empire. The barbarian druid was the kind to bully people to get what he wanted. That's how he got his horse. The rogue was a drug-addicted, manic private investigator, and the monk was a coward who refused to help during fights and also moonlighted as a wood salesman. In other words, a party neatly designed for failure. So our campaign was based around dungeon diving, primarily through a magic portal that appeared outside of the city we were based out of and led into an ever-changing labyrinth full of artifacts and treasures. Our group was a day into a two-day mission for the local adventuring guild, and nerves had already begun to heavily fray among the party. The main cause of that is because during a previous session, the party had run along a changeling who had took upon the form of the rogue. We had managed to restrain both the changeling and the rogue, and we were trying to work through the process of who was who. The barbarian druid devised a test to see who was the real one based on what they had in their pockets. However, this information on what the rogue even had in his pockets was flawed. So when the fighter checked one of the rogue's pockets and found it empty, the barbarian druid took it as a sign that the one he was restraining was fake and tried to kill him. The rogue narrowly avoided murder and ran off into the other room to hide while the changeling eventually revealed its deception and attacked the rest of the party. Once the changeling was killed, the rogue tentatively rejoined the party, at least long enough to make it to a safe spot to rest. Now, the barbarian druid had a horse that he led around through the dungeon named Josea. He had gotten the horse by basically intimidating and bullying the local stable owner into keeping the horse after he found it when it ran away. The barbarian druid was highly protective if not obsessed with Josea, so wanting to pay the barbarian druid back for nearly killing him last session, the rogue decided to wait until everyone was asleep to kill Josea, if just to make the barbarian druid suffer. Unfortunately for him, he failed his stealth check, so the rogue accidentally woke everyone up. The rogue and the barbarian druid both started to threaten each other with their weapons, and my fighter tried to get between them to calm them down. It was around that point that the monk decided to jump in and question why my fighter was taking a leadership position, as he felt that the fighter did not deserve it due to the way he was born, an alchemically created human. This caused the issue to spiral out of control into a four-way argument, with everyone arguing with everyone else. Eventually, the monk decided that he had had enough of the party and tried to sneak away by using an ever-smoking bottle as cover. This only made things worse, as now we resorted to hurling personal insults at each other because we couldn't see one another. The tipping point was when my fighter, in a moment of anger, called the barbarian druid a horse heifer. It was at that exact moment that the barbarian druid decided to rage and shapeshift into a bear. It was a very one-sided fight. Even though the rogue jumped in two to help my fighter, the both of them got knocked out fairly easily after getting a hit in each. In the rogue's case, he got knocked out by one of the horse's hooves after he stabbed it out of spite. The monk, meanwhile, had tried escaping through the door that led back to the dungeon's entrance, but he got pushed back into the room by Gale Forcewind that was part of the previous room's challenge. This also dissipated the smoke from the bottle. The fighter was the first one to regain consciousness, but that did him absolutely no good. The barbarian druid in bear form saw that he was getting back up and decided to finish the job. The fighter was knocked unconscious again, and the bear kept on attacking to kill him outright. He succeeded, and the fighter's head exploded under the weight of the bear's paw. The barbarian druid then shifted out of his bear form, thinking that the job was done, while the monk looked on in horror. Nonchalantly, the barbarian druid then took the time to heal Josea. By then, the rogue managed to complete his saving throws and stood back up, ready to fight again. The barbarian druid pulled out his sword and told him not to do anything stupid, but the rogue then decided to stab Josea again and gouged his rapier into the horse's side. Unsurprisingly, this made the barbarian druid cleave his sword into the rogue, where then the rogue died from failing his throws. So, at the end of it all, the monk and the barbarian druid were the only ones to leave the dungeon. The monk, though, was thoroughly traumatized by what he had seen and decided to quit his job as a wood salesman and wander the earth as a drunken hobo for the rest of his days. As for the barbarian druid, after being questioned by an adventuring guild representative, a warrant was put out for his arrest for the murders of a fighter and the rogue, so he fled back to his home village with horse in tow to live in hiding. In hindsight, the party was built to fail. An enforcer of a distant government, a bully who could actually back up his threats, a spiteful drug-addicted rogue, and a cowardly, discriminatory monk were never going to work well together. It's no surprise that our party was functionally wiped out after that incident. TLDR, a drug-addicted rogue who tries to kill a horse out of spite for its owner, causes the party to be functionally wiped out. 
End post. In all honesty, while the DM is certainly not the cause of the issue, I do feel like the DM should still be held up to some level of responsibility for this and should not have let it spiral out of control the way that it did. As such, I rate this DM 0 out of 10 spines. Not that the Rogan, Druid, Barry, and are off the hook, but I do believe that it is the DM's job to see this through and pull the plug on it well before it boils over like this. That said, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave me a like, and if you want to see more videos by me, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Till next time.